Hey guys, Britta here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to our first look at Cruise Ship Manager. Now, he's taking you to the guys from Image Power SA. We're sending me through a key to check this one out. Let's go straight into play. Um, so, easy, you don't get any achievements. Hard, normal. Um, if it changed anything, I believe, yeah, you. Um, yeah, so if you change anything, you don't get. Um, Achievement. So we'll just go with normal, I suppose. Let's hit play. Yes, we'll do the tutorial as well. Um, I've already played a little bit, so I sort of know what we're doing. But Right, let's load in. So welcome to Cruise Ship Manager. The tutorial will show you how to manage your own cruise ship. Uh, this is the Harbour Options panel on the right-hand side here. Here you can switch between the different modes necessary to start the cruise. In the Cruise Planner mode, you can play in the route. In the destination of your cruise. In build mode, you can modify your ship. Uh, crew employment mode, you can manage your crew, obviously. And in the tickets mode, you can manage tickets, uh, the ticket sales of your cruise. Now, saying that, tickets, you want to do tickets last. So, let's go to cruise planner. The cruise planner, you can select the route that your cruise will take. Select one of the available destinations and click choose cruise to accept your cruise. Choosing your route, go on ahead and hop into the build mode to modify your ship or the crew employment mode to hire a crew. Unless the ticket mode becomes available only after selecting a route, however, it would be wise to wait with that until you build the ship and hire your crew. So let's go to Messina. 112 bucks. Confirm cruise. Go to build mode. So building your first room. To build a new room, select from the, one of the categories at the bottom of the screen and simply place it in any free spot on your ship. Remember that all rooms of your sh on your ship must be connected using corridors or the elevator so that your crew and passengers can reach them. Alright, so utilities, crew cabin. Oh, place it there. We'll place it anyway because I'm going to move it anyway. Uh, you've actually built your first room on your cruise ship. Before proceeding, you must learn a few things to ensure the best crews for your passengers. Uh, passengers and crew. The number of passengers and the crew on the ship can take, you can, the ship can take, depends on the number of cabins that you provide for them. The more cabins you build, the more passengers and crew can be on the ship. The number of passengers and crew is displayed on the panel top left of your screen. So passengers, crew, and then maintenance. Maintenance personnel required. So let's move this. I want to move this down to there. So cabins, left side. Uh, let's put it there. It's a passion needs. Each passion has their own needs, and it is our responsibility to ensure that they are met. Hunger, thirst... Sleep and entertainment are some of the most important needs, not to mention knowing where the nearest toilet is. Make sure that your ship has cabins for your passengers as well as a place where they can eat and relax. Alright, so we want to go with a diner. Boom. Each room has a specific number of work slots to which a crew member needs to be assigned. Try to have more crew than work slots to ensure that all work slots are always occupied by a crew member. Each passenger has their own taste preference. Satisfying them yields twice the amount of happiness, while satisfying all of them gives a happiness boost. In order to be able to please as many passengers as possible, it is wise to have a variety of services and venues on the ship. Note that passengers will yield less and less happiness the more they use the same service. Okay, good. So let's go with some stairs, because we need some stairs to get up there. Uh, I want to go with a pub on this side. Uh, 13 and a half green. Let's go with some cabins. Go left, let's go right. So we've got a gap of one there, which sucks. I hate it when things don't line up. Move that to there like that. There's a gap in the middle, which is really annoying. Uh, how much? They're about a thousand bucks each, so we can still continue putting more of these guys in. But we also need to look at uh, some more stairs, which we're going to need to move that guy. Another set of stairs. Move you. We can't fit another one in there. Which sucks, so that gives us access to outside. Then up here is empty. It's going to cost us about six grand, I think, to maybe fill this spot. Actually, no. Um, we're gonna have th I think we need nine crew. So let's go... Sell those services, entertainment, that crew cabin. We're gonna need at least nine crew. So we can put two more rooms in. Uh, 
Uh, I wish these had we had elevators so it was a little bit thinner. I don't think there's any other way for us to get up except for stairs at this point in time. I think that may change. Entertainment, pub. We could put a couple more of these in. Done. Now crew management. So this is the crew employment mode where you can select who to hire from your ship's crew. To the left you can see the list of available work slots based on the rooms you have built into your ship. Next is list of available hires. Double click on them to one to employ them. If you change your mind you can double click on them to on there to fire them. Alright, so we want um, a captain who's organization and engineering. So if you sort by organization. Yeah, so Hugo can be our captain. As crew members work, a battery icon may appear above their heads. This means that their skill is depleted, causing their work quality to decrease by 25% at most. In order to rise their skills once more, assign them work that requires a different skill so their depleted skills can rest and recharge. That's one thing I don't like. Um, you know, you're hiring people for one thing. You shouldn't have to change them to something else. Uh, we need a good engineer. There we go, and we need some um, gastronomy, and I think these are gastronomy and service. Yep, okay, so gastronomy. Pretty much need uh, three. Let's go four, five, six. And then I'm going to get an extra person. Uh, efficiency, diligence. I don't know what the skills do. Um, service safety, maybe. Efficiency. I don't know what to go with here. Michael says, oh, there we go, done. Alright, so that's done. We go to tickets. So, ticket mode the price of the tickets largely depends on your reputation. The higher your reputation, the easier it will be to sell expensive tickets. Uh, without advertisements. Once you have sold the tickets, you will no longer be able to modify anything about the crews. Blah, blah, blah. You can hire more crew for the money you made with the tickets, though be responsible with your resources. Once you are satisfied with your price, select sell tickets, and then you can set sail. VIP passengers are special passengers who are differential by a golden outline. Their amount is determined by the number of VIP tickets sold. If VIP's happiness state is good, they will spend twice as much as normal. If it's very good, they will spend three times as much. They will not use the same service twice, so it's important to provide a variety of entertainment for them. They are always uh, patient and will not wait to be serviced or in queues as long as other passengers. Yeah, so they said 112. Let's make it 120. All inclusive. Let's go uh, 380. All inclusive ticket pool. I don't know what that means. And uh, VIP ticket price. Let's make that a bit more expensive. Say 500. Maybe for a pool, we don't have a pool at the moment, so we can just sell it as it is. There we go, we've sold nine. Thousand and eighty bucks. There's a thousand and eighty, good. Now the resource market, we've got five hundred provisions, and we've also got eight thousand fuel. I don't think we need any more provisions or fuel for our first first sale so resource market dollar and ten all right um, yeah we don't need to worry about none of that let's go set sale yes all right now as soon as we come in oh dear the ship is a part of the key to ensuring success for cruise making the most profit is making sure your person is happy stay vigilant during the cruise and events that may occur Signing work slots. In order to maintain the ship, you need to assign crew members to their work slots, etc., etc. Yeah, right. Let's pause straight away. Um, we need to go up here. So, room management. Let's just... I'll, I'll talk you guys through this. Okay, so now a crew assigned to the bridge. Click on this. Click on Captain. And, um, you can go with availability or the most required skill. So, Hugo's got the best. So we'll double click him and then he will become our captain once he gets up there. 
Now management, you can do it from here, it makes it a bit easier. So you can go over here, you want an engineer, uh, level 2, probably Isabel, I guess. Done. Then a cook. Gastronomy, but also, see, bring these guys up, but you don't want them obviously to be working in there when they're working somewhere else. Level 3. Uh, gastronomy and service for this one. Michael, actually, Michael Serza we're going to leave off, won't we? Suzanne Serza, there we go. Uh, the next one over. Yep, yeah, you. So I think Michael Serza, we're just going to let him float around. And a melon. Bartender, gastronomy. Or you have strawberry? And then we need oop, an engineer for in here. Alright, we need to go. Hugo, no, Michael. Actually, where? I thought we had an extra person, didn't we? Was anyone not assigned? No. There's seven, but there's nine, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do we have nine people assigned? Uh, management. Oh, Isabel's got no job. Okay. Well, Isabel, I want you to be in the engine room. Uh, let's go back down here. Uh, where is Isabel in the list? There she is. Alright, assign her. So Michael's got no job. There we go. Now let's get things moving. So our staff members will do their thing. Right, and then we can just pretty much speed up and let it go. So these guys are getting served. I think... Uh, they want a diner and indoor swimming pool, which we don't have none of that yet. So I'm not sure what their hands are. They're waiting to order, I think. Not 100% sure, but you can see our money's going up as well every time someone spends money. 23, 25. Someone's gone up a level. Plus 5, people are waiting. And eventually you have um, things happen, like events and stuff. Um, oh, yep, see up here there's, it's dirty up here. The clean dirt, Michael can do that because he's doing nothing else. Yeah, needs, needs something in the exclamation point, I can't appear above their head, this means the passion patience is running out. Okay, so I need to quickly sort that out. So Michael will eventually get up there, there he goes, took him forever. And then down here, you know, you've got to fix things, things will slowly break. the hell is this dude doing? I don't know if he was doing stretches or if he was... It is funny though, because you can see, um, you can see how drunk they are. Like she's, comes out of there pretty drunk and irate. Oh, there's a fire in the engine room. Uh, let's go. You go. You go. Can put that out because he's already there. Thank God for that. Ah, engine room. Sure, there's a fire in the. What do you call it? Control room. Uh, what is it? The bridge. That'll do. The bridge. Alright, so we're halfway through the trip. Three minutes till our next crew salary. You can see the happiness rating. Yeah, green's good. So we're going through food and fuel. 5.8 seconds until we're out of fuel. Um, actually, 13.6 minutes till we're out of fuel. But we're at seven, nearly 80% distance travelled. So now these guys have got some... Um, the bars over their head, which means that that's going to be less effective. You can see it's been drained. 
but then you know there's nothing we can really do like I want them to stay on the same job we don't have enough people to be replacing them and stuff right there's an issue somewhere oh there's a broken item where Where's the broken item? Can't see where the broken item is. Oh, now, oh, now it's dirty. Okay. Clean the dirt. Uh, Michael can do that. It says there's something. Is ah, it's the bed here. There we go. Alright, never mind. We made it. Seems like you got the basics down. I might make a other out of you yet. We may. We may. Right, so dollar ninety for that, which was a dollar where we were before, and nineteen cents instead of ten cents. Um, large cabin, large cabin, digital, new to restroom and gym. Okay, finish cruise plus three seventeen, made an extra three grand. Done. So resource market. Let's get back up to that. So what's that? Two fifty. And fuel. Can't click and hold. So just keep pressing. That's extremely painful. Because I don't know how much I'm going to need. Let's go buy. Uh, go out. Out and back in again. Can't even go backwards. I mean, clicking and holding doesn't do a thing. Alright, we could if we could just press full fuel, I guess that would be even better. Let's go another 1300 litres of fuel, but yeah, that's really annoying. Space bar, enter, nothing helps. There should be a, f a fill up button. Right, let's go to Athens next. Pub and a fitness room. The gym. Or a fitness room. Let's go to there and get the. I've already got a pub. But let's go that way. Confirm cruise. 96 bucks. There is 89. So we'll go 96 bucks. Uh, build mode. I don't think we can do anything there. We can upgrade the ship. Nope, we can't here. That's fine. Alright, utilities. Nothing in there. Services, diner, which we've already got. Cabin, so there's still only small stuff. There's really nothing we can do except add. Add more cabins again. Alright, a bit of a gap. Let's move everything over one. Done, we can put a few more in here. We've got four grand. Let's let's save that for a little bit. Nine of eight work slots. Twelve max passengers. That's fine. Uh, tickets. That's one hundred three. Let's make it one ten. Let's go three fifty. And sell. So we didn't sell any all-inclusives. Probably isn't a bad thing. How much... F no, okay. It doesn't tell me how much fuel we're going to need to get there. I'm a bit worried we're going to run out. Um, it's just so annoying, like, having to do this. There should be a full, full fuel or a fill button. Alright. 17.4 minutes, that should be okay, let's go. Right, so everybody will need to be reset to where they work, or are they already set? Nope, they're all good, they're all set again, so that's fine. Uh, that needs to be repaired. Uh, fix, Michael. And then, obviously, that will change once... Yeah, he gets up there. 
So we could if we could have just a cleaner. Maybe we get like a cleaner's room later. Let's fix that, Michael, just in case. You never know, you don't want that dying on the way. Okay, actually, let's go fix Michael. Yeah, it'd be good if we could um, check on the durability a bit easier. So we've got to keep an eye on our um, happiness as well. So passengers, they're all reasonably happy. There will be events where passengers get drunk at high rate and God knows what else, but... Alright, more than halfway through the cruise. Six minutes left, we've got... 13 minutes of fuel, so that's fine. Actually, no, that doesn't. That tells us to our next salary. All right, so everyone's getting in. Um, uh, flex crew member's effectiveness. Once the pirates have played, the crew member will no longer be effective at any job requiring this skill. Okay. I don't know, because uh, that's one thing that I don't like. Like, he's an engineer. He should be an engineer forever. Like, we shouldn't have to take him off and put him on something else. My job, I get hired as a truck driver. I drive a truck every day. I don't get less skilled by driving a truck every day. I get more skilled. Anyway. Alright, so reputation plus 206. Uh, 175, 2771. You made the happiness. The extra 3000. So we should have a decent amount again. Yep, yeah, eleven green. Uh, it's a dollar ninety nineteen cents. Still the same. I think provisions are pretty good. Let's just look at another eighteen hundred liters of fuel. As I said, this part is really annoying. Like, there's no way to do it. You idiot. That's that's even easier. Well done, game. Uh, let's go to Athens. We haven't been to Athens yet. 112 bucks. One day, 809 miles. Doesn't say how much fuel it should would take. That's probably one thing I'd like to see. Cabins have changed. Entertainment. There's a gym now for 16,000. Holy sugar. Alright, so two passengers. Do we get rid of these? Okay, left. Right. Left. Can we fit one in? Uh, we probably can if we move this. Actually, let's move that all the way to the end. Ah, hell yeah, there we go, that fits. Now this one needs to be moved. Done, that's pretty much got rid of all our money, but that gives us a total of 15 passengers. Um, crew's pretty good. Can we upgrade our ship? No, not here either. Alright, crew management should be fine. Um, so I don't want to... We need another three more things. I don't want to get rid of a crew. I want to keep them and, you know, keep them getting better. Let's drop that down a bit to 100%. 125. Let's go with some flyers. I don't know if that makes any difference. Let's sell some tickets. Alright, no all inclusive tickets sold again. That's fine. Let's go on another cruise. Right, so I'm thinking eventually we're going to need to put some more um, uh, fix, Michael. Some more, um, three more quarters in. Because those guys aren't, yes, it's gone up a bit, but not fully. So we need to get like a second crew, pretty much. But Michael's are sitting in there doing nothing. Right, that's dirty. Clean dirt, Michael. Actually, there's an issue up there. What the hell's... Oh, no, there it is. 
Fix Michael. So he'll eventually go to both, I think. Will he do one then the other? No, he just does one. Well, that sucks. It'd be good if we could, um... Like, queue things. Fix Michael. It's good to have spare people, though. Like, these guys eventually will just be fixing things. Uh, another one there. And then the next cruise, I'll swap over and be doing the things they need to be doing. Alright, what's this? Dirty items. Ah, the bed's dirty. Alright, clean that. Alright, we're 70 odd percent through our trip. 75. Provisions are getting low. I don't know how much we can fill the boat with. Uh, what's going on? That's dirty. Michael, and there's dirt over there as well. Alright, bang, clean dirt. Michael can do that. I don't think he'll do it in time. Good. Extinguish fire. Where's our engineer? Alright, well I figured that would have would have got put out first. Let's hope so. Alright, we got that again. So forty eight hundred bucks. Provisions, we haven't got much left. Fuel we use more than half. Lost three grand, finish cruise, good, good. I think I want to go with more staff now. Let's go resource market. Four eighty five fuel. Oh, let's go five thousand. Done. Uh, cruise planner. Keep going that way. Ninety six bucks. Recommended reputation seven seventy. Where is our reputation? Can't see where our reputation even is. Nope. All right, build mode. So we have other stuff here. Uh, pub. We've got a pub. The fitness room. we go a fitness room or do we go with more staff? I think we go more staff for now. Uh, utilities, crew cabin. Now it's going to cost us a little bit more. Alright, cool employment. Uh, let's go. Organisation. You will go engineer. You will go gastronomy. Three, two, one. Oh dear. No skill. We want to hire how many? Four. None. Oh, there's only. We haven't got enough people. Right. Well, that'll work. We'll 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 work with that. Uh, let's go. One ten. We want all inclusive to be. Bit more expensive. We don't want people doing it. We want them to spend money while they're on the boat. Three fifty. There we go. Sell tickets. Sold pretty quick. Low difficulty. Goal. Twenty three hours. That's so a very very small cruise. All right, let's go set sail again. Right. So now we'll just move a few people around. Alright, pause. No captain in the bridge. Okay, let's go here. Captain. Swap by skill so Cassandra can go there. Uh, engineer. Engineering there. Gastronomy. We'll go the guys that haven't got a job yet. Go back down, there we go, and we'll just get, so we'll try and swap people out. So, actually, Dominic, yep, yeah, okay, done. We could probably swap those guys over a little bit. See, because she's got high 
gastronomy, but she's got all right service. So right there, that's fine. And here you need gastronomy and service. Right, you can go there. Gastronomy and service. There. Okay. Now there should be. Everyone should be assigned. Uh, where's that again? There. Clean. Someone who's not doing anything. Alright, done. So that should sort everything out, I think. Let's double check. Uh, it's hard to see. There's someone in there. Yeah, there is. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've done it right. Right, spot there. Clean dirts. So those guys, they'll just be resting for this cruise, pretty much. Nice and quick. We just need to make sure we get fuel and stuff every time. Be good to get like a gym or something in here. Uh, where's there? It is broke. No, nope, not you. Fix. Alright, uh, dirty items, there, clean, I wish it wouldn't zoom all the way in, but I suppose I guess it helps to see, We've got nearly 10 grand in cash, we're getting there, can we get it a little bit higher, oh dear, uh, where's the engineer, You can fix that. Uh, there's a fire there. Right, someone will get to that pretty quick, I hope. Yeah, all over it. Another broken item. I think it's a broken left, right, and centre. This, this is where we need like a maintenance crew. That would make more sense. I right, said so gym, large cabin, right sided version we can put in. Fuel's a bit more expensive here as well right so 41.25 we should get an extra three grand bonus yeah there you go perfect right let's plan our next cruise uh athens has got a pub and a fitness room they got more cabins can't go there yet okay so we'll unlock more places Go back to Barcelona. It's a big ass cruise. 158 bucks. Probably too far. 66 bucks isn't enough, I don't think. 135. Let's do that. Uh, build mode. What do we have? Services. I thought we had uh, gender neutral restroom. Good, let's move. Fuel these guys over. I think down there would be perfect. Uh, entertainment, nothing, services. Okay, cabins. I think we're good for cabins. Eight grand left. Let's go per uh, resource market. Let's go 745. God, that's expensive. Go 6,000. Make sure we've got enough crew management. Do we need any more people? I feel like we do. Uh, four of the most skilled. Done. Uh, tickets. Bump that right. Let's bump it right up. Make that a bit cheaper. Hundred percent. Still not doing any all inclusives or VIPs, but we're selling tickets pretty quick. All right, done. Right, here, guys. We'll we'll end the episode here. Hopefully, you enjoyed the first look at Cruise Ship Tycoon. Let me know if you want to see some more. 
Um, hit that like button, leave a comment. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.